Hello everyone, I'm Ben. Welcome to Acoustic Paradiso here on Anderton's TV. Happy New Year. It's my first time back in the room since uh, last year. And I'm looking at these today. These are the new Ibanez 2023 Acoustic Collection. Um, you've just heard me and Pete playing on some of them and I was playing this one. So that's where we're going to start. This is the, um, the most affordable of the bunch, I would say, the AAD 50 CE LBS. Um, LBS stands for Light Brown Sunburst, but it's also available in grey and natural, I think. And I think we've done videos on it before, but these are some new colours for this year. Um, the C and E in the name refer to cutaway and electric. So it's got the um, Ibanez um, AEQ-TP2 pickup and preamp system. So that's a, a, an Ibanez under saddle kind of piezo element. Going to this little preamp on here, which has got bass, treble, volume, and a tuner control. Before we talk about what it sounds like, let's talk about some of the woods on here. It's a solid Sitka spruce top, Sapelli back and sides, nice big kind of dreadnought body. It's an Akume neck with a purple heart fingerboard and a purple heart bridge. It's nice, it's a 25.59 inch scale length on here, uh, which fits nicely with this big body. And um, I've just realized it's not plugged in, so I'll plug it in. Uh, the output on here, it's got a standard jack output, but it's also got a balanced um, XLR output there, so you can go straight to a mixing desk or whatever if you're playing it out gigging, which is quite a useful thing actually, having a balanced output. Um, let's see what it sounds like, shall we? Um, we'll start acoustically. Using the microphone and then we'll have a listen to the pickup, see how that sounds. So here we go. So there we go. That's the, uh, this is the AAD50. Did I say that right? I did say that right. The AAD50 CE-LBS. It's the, it's the cheapest of this new collection. It's got a fairly big sound. It, you know, it's, it doesn't have the kind of same uh, gravitas as a slightly more expensive guitar, but it's nice to play. The pickup system is, is good. Um, it's loud enough. It's a fun guitar. So there we go. In a slight break from tradition, I'm going to do the guitar that Pete was playing in the first jam you heard, which is the most expensive of the bunch. So let's see what that sounds like, shall we? So here we have the AEW C400-AMS. Now this is the most expensive of this bunch. I believe this isn't a new model, but again, it's available in some new finishes. So, so that's good. We've not done a video on this one before, so let me tell you a little bit about it. It's got a maple top and maple back and sides. That's a lot of maple. The neck is made of Niato and it's got a walnut fingerboard. Scale length on here is uh, 24.96 inches, I believe. And it is equipped with a Fishman uh, pickup and the AEQ SP2 preamp, which has got bass, treble, a tuner and a volume control. The most striking thing about this guitar, if I hold it like this, you can see this kind of very, uh, very cool actually, kind of cutaway here, which allows access to the top really nicely. Uh, and the back as well, with the carve on it, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's, it's kind of got a real, uh, a carve to it that, that almost reminds me of, of the back of an arch top, because um, it's got this kind of, this cutout here as well. So the ergonomics of it are really good. It's got the chamfer around the top, and I, this kind of cutaway, quite a sharp angle, but I like the look of that. It reminds me, of, it's all, it's not a Venetian cutaway because it doesn't come out into a point there, but I, I like the shape. Let's see how it sounds though. That's the important thing, isn't it? Um, it plays nicely. You know, the finish in all these is, is great in terms of fretwork and stuff like that. So that's nice. Let's hear what this sounds like. Um, and, and let me know what you think in the, in the comments. I'm kind of, I'm torn about the acoustic sound, but we'll see what the, see what the electric sounds like, shall we?
There we go. So that's that. It's the maple. Um, yeah, the full maple body. Maple bodies are um, kind of... Uh, I find with, 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 with maple bodies, I really like them sometimes. And other times they need a bit of work to get them kind of moving. So I think this one would definitely benefit from having a bit of, bit of playing done on it to try and loosen up the maple. Because it's quite, you know, it's a hard wood. Um, and it might be a bit stiff, if that makes sense. But anyway, let's move on. Next up, we have this. As I'm sure you can imagine, this is Pete's favourite because it's purple. <laughs> uh, it's the AEG70-PIH. Uh, maple top, sapelli back and sides, Nieto neck with a walnut fingerboard, 24.96 inch scale length, and some electronics that I've not seen before, actually. It's got, um, it's got an under saddle uh, pickup in it, but the, the actual preamp on here is the AEQ-TTS which is an Ibanez kind of proprietary thing, I think. It's just got a volume and a shape control, but it's also got a tuner. This is what I wanted to show. The tuner is, is kind of like a, you know, it's got a display that tells you how sharp or flat you are on a kind of graphic display rather than just, you know, LEDs, which is quite nice and it's quite accurate. So that's just something I thought was definitely worth mentioning. The tuner is really good. I just want to listen to see what the shape control does because it's got two little pictures on it and round at one side on the extreme is a circle. At the other extreme of the control is a kind of four pointed star shape. And then it's got a little center detente. So I think it's basically working a bit like a tone control, but let's find out, shall we? So um, I'm gonna start it in the center and then I'm gonna turn it all the way around to the, the circle and then all the way around to the star. We'll see what difference it makes. Okay, so here we go. This is the center. all the way around to the circle. Okay, so yeah, I mean, it sounds kind of rounder, I suppose. Certainly takes some of the, um, the top out of it. Let's put it all the way around to the little four-pointed four star. Ooh, there's that brightness. I think having it in the middle where the, that little kind of notch is. That's a pretty good place actually, isn't it? I might take it a tiny bit more round towards the circle, just because I don't like that kind of top, top end fizziness that you sometimes get on piezos. There we go. Okay, cool. I'm going to play something now so you can hear what it sounds like with the mic and everything. But I'm going to leave that set where it is. So I've put the shape control just off the, um, the centre notch towards the circle, for what that's worth. But it's quite, and I quite like this little preamp and I think the tune is great. Um, and it's purple, it's very purple. Let's not forget that. See what it sounds like, shall we? Okay. So there we go, that's that. Let me know what you think about these in the comments below. Um, as ever, I, I always forget to mention this, there's links below to all of these guitars and if you wanna know more specs, if you wanna know the different nut widths and the string spacing and, and all of that kind of stuff, it's all there. But if I tell you all of that for all these guitars, this video will last forever. So um, there we go, that is the AEG70 in uh, Purple Iris. 
which is a striking colour. I'm sure we can all agree. Um, let's move on. Next up, we have this, which is the uh, AE275-DBF, which is uh, in the dark tide blue flat finish, which is really nice actually. So it's kind of this matte finish, rather large body, pretty cool inlay work up the fretboard there. I like that, kind of uh, like a vine or something, but it's nicely done, uh, wooden inlay work. Now this, is, uh, this has got a different pickup system in it again, this one. Let me tell you the full specs. So we've got a solid Sitka spruce top, um, a kume back and sides, a Niato neck with a power ferro board, and the electronics on here, unlike the rest of these, which I think all have under saddles, this one's got a magnetic pickup, which you can see right here. Um, no under saddle at all, and no tuner, but it's got two, two controls. You've got a volume control, and then you've got this tone control. Now, it's got a center notch, and in the middle, uh, the EQ is completely flat. If you turn it clockwise, um, that boosts the treble. If you turn it counterclockwise from the middle, it boosts the bass. So we'll have a look at some of that stuff. Um, it's also worth mentioning uh, that this guitar has got a rather unusual scalloped bridge. Um, I don't know if you can see that here, maybe there'll be some pictures, but um, the kind of where the strings come through, the saddle obviously sits like a solid single piece there, but th there's scalloped cutaways out in the kind of string path which I'm assuming serves some kind of terribly uh, clever purpose. Um, it doesn't get in the way at all. I'm just, I've just not seen it before, so I thought it was worth mentioning. Anyway, let's have a listen to see how it sounds, shall we? Uh, as I've said before, the setup on all these is great, so it doesn't really need mentioning. But um, I'm gonna play some stuff. But let's have a listen to see what the, uh, what the, what the tone control does, because it does make quite a big difference to the sound here. Um, I'm gonna play a chord. At the moment our EQ is flat, so see how that sounds. Let's boost up the top end, see, see how much we get. I think we can all agree that's probably too much, but it's it's good to have it there if you need it, if you've got particularly dead strings on maybe. So there we go, I'm gonna start in the center again now and boost the bass. Again, probably a little bit too much bass boost, but it's good to have it there. I think like the other control that we spoke about, I'm gonna try setting it just slightly off towards the bass boost end, so you lose a bit of those kind of fizzy highs that you can get, although it's not so fizzy on this because it's a magnetic pickup rather than a piezo. But um, we'll do that and we'll see how that sounds and we'll see how it sounds acoustically and all that kind of thing. I believe that this is a new finish, but there are other models of this guitar available with different finishes. So if you're not into a kind of matte blue finish, but you do like the sound or the look of it, then um, 
as ever, check the links below. There'll be links to all these guitars and where they are. So let's see how this sounds, shall we? All right. So that was cool. Um, good. Let's look at the next one in the range, which I believe is the nylon string. Let's check that out. Ah, <laughs> oh, something like that. All right, so this is a bit different, obviously, to the rest of them, because this is the, I can never remember the names of these, the FRH10N-BSF, okay? And this, we think, is based from off the, um, the Tree of Death, the Tim Henson signature model, and at some point in the future, we're gonna be doing a shootout on it, uh, between this, this and that one. Let me tell you a little bit about it. It's nylon string, obviously. Um, it does have a radius board, which is quite nice if you're used to playing guitars with radius boards. Um, solid Sitka spruce tops, a pelly back and sides. It's got fan bracing underneath here, which kind of, you know, traditional uh, nylon string style bracing, although it could be ladder bracing. We, we, we won't get into that because this isn't a traditional nylon string guitar, is it? So it doesn't really matter. It's got a side sound port, Although obviously you can see it's not very big, so acoustically it's not particularly loud, um, which is fine because this is, you know, this is a stage guitar, and for playing at you know loud stage volumes, it's going to be great. You will also notice if you look very closely that there are no knobs on here. There's no controls other than on the back here. You've got a mute switch, which works perfectly. Um, there we go. If you're looking for an electric nylon string, this is a great one. I've got to say, it's really nice to play, super easy to get access all the way up to these top frets. Um, it feels good. I like this matte finish again, they call it a flat finish, but that's basically what it is. Comfortable to play. Obviously, you know, because it's a nylon string, the nut width, it has to be a little bit wider than a, than a steel string because the strings are wider and they flap around more and all that kind of thing. But yeah, I'm very impressed with this. It's interesting to see Kind of, quite a few companies are bringing out these kind of thin, kind of slimline electric nylon strings now. So it's it's an interesting development in the world of acoustic guitar. And this is a very nice contender. Um, so there we go. There's not much else to say really. There's, we've we've listened to the sound of it because it's plugged in. Uh, there's no, there's no tone controls to fiddle with. But and I'm sure I've mentioned this before. I quite like the sound of piezo under saddle pickups on nylon strings, generally more than I do on steel strings. So that's fine. And if you've got your, if you're into your Jerry Reed stuff, um, this will be perfect. Great for that. There we go, it's a fun guitar. It's a really fun guitar to play. I like this one. Um, good. Let's look at the next one. The last one in our little Ibanez day here. I'm going to unplug. 
All right, last but by no means least, we have this, the smallest of the bunch. This is the AE240JR, which stands for Junior, I believe. Um, it's a 24 inch scale length. So it is a relatively short scale. I quite like short scale guitars though, so there's no problem with that for me. Um, it's a Kume top and a Kume back and sides. It's got this nice sunburst finish. Um, it's an Avancol uh, fingerboard on a Nieto neck. Let's play it because this, uh, much like this one, doesn't have any onboard controls, okay? It does have a pickup. It's an under saddle one this time, a piezo. Uh, but then on the back here, you've just got the jack output, the battery compartment, and a mute switch. There's no volume, there's no tone controls, which is actually quite nice, I think, because I like to have as much of the electronics outside the guitar body as possible because then um, you don't have stuff inside the guitar and also if you need to fix it it's much easier uh, so there we go let's see what this sounds like um, I, the open pour finish on this is really nice I think this might be my favorite of the of the six although let's see let's play it for a while and find out it's I should mention it's the only one of the six comes with a gig bag or any kind of case at all so there we go that's nice isn't it uh, let's see what it sounds like shall we all right There we go. It is my favorite. <laughs> it is my favorite. The, certainly of the steel string ones we've got here. It's interesting, it's a, it's a nice new range. Um, but for me, I like this one. I like the short scale. It feels comfortable to play. I really like the feel of this open pour finish. Um, and there we go. So for what it's worth, this one is my favorite. Which one did you like the sound of the best? Um, let me know if you own one of these as well. I'd be interested to see what your, what your thoughts on them are. But yeah, Ibanez seem to be, you know, bringing out some interesting new stuff for their acoustic range. Um, yeah, steel strings, I love this one. The nylon string, I really like that. Although it's kind of, it's a different category to the rest of them, isn't it? Um, and I would also say this one on the end, which I believe is the, the least expensive of, of the six, is another good bet if you're after a big body. So anyway, there we go. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. You could be in with a chance of winning a clon if you're into that kind of thing. Everyone likes clones, right? I don't know. Um, but there we go. Thank you for watching and don't forget to keep watching every time we bring out acoustic guitar videos because hopefully you find them interesting. All right, see you soon everyone. Take care. Pete and I are gonna play you out on some of these.